officially in the parking lot of the theater, which means that it's time to start the vlog. Hey friends, what is up? It's me, Catherine, and welcome back to my second channel, Party at Cats. Today, we're having fun. We're with the family. We're, where's dad? Dad, say hi to the vlog. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay, we're so excited because we're gonna go see Come From Away. I am so excited. I have been dying to see this show and I still haven't gotten a chance to see it. And we're finally gonna see it tonight. We're over here at the beautiful Amundsen Theater here in downtown LA for Digital Night, which means that we were invited, which is like pretty fancy. So thank you for inviting us, Center Theater Group. I'm ready to get my gander on. Oh yeah, absolutely. But we're, uh, let's, let's become islanders. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you guys would actually fit kind of right in with a kitchen party. Like, you guys are very like, oh, who needs food? I'm here with a pun and food. That's right. Like, that's kind of my whole vibe, which I get it, because that's who my parents are. When are we going to see Dwayne Johnson? I've been hearing that song, Welcome to the Rock. <sighs> you see what I mean about the puns? There was an issue in the parking lot, so I just jumped out of the car because it's already 7.40. Just as the parking thing started working again, so my parents are in the parking lot. They're going in the regular way. I'm just gonna head up. Still trying to find my parents because I don't know where they ended up, but I have my tickets. I am just about up. Oh, there's my mom. I found my mom. Hi, mommy. I found you. Yay! I found my mommy. Um, so we're probably gonna head in in just a second. I believe Come From Away doesn't have an intermission. Okay. So I guess we'll just see you guys after the show. We also got invited to the after party, so I guess we'll be heading over there after the show. So that's gonna be really fun. I can't wait. I love a good Amundsen party, and they throw really good parties. Uh, so without any further ado, I think we're gonna head into the theater, so I'll see you guys at the party. Okay, so clearly we're not at the party yet, but the show just ended and I just need to fill you guys in on some stuff. Okay, first off, I think this is the second show ever that 10 minutes to curtain call. I was figuring out how many more times I can see the show before it closes here. Uh, the only other time that's happened was once on this island on Broadway. And it's also so different now that I don't know if you guys have seen my other Come From Away vlog, but, oh, hang on, we're in the lobby. I'm gonna be like a crazy person talking to myself, yikes. Okay, I'm back out of the lobby, so, that show was so spectacular. It's the energy, I think, also. It's one of those shows that you're sitting in the audience and you're like, why am I not in a show right now? Much less, why am I not in this show right now? Like, it's infectious. This is the kind of theater that I want to be making. And I think this show kind of has that impact. But when I was at the Come From Away event over the summer, I got to meet the former mayor and Captain Beverly Bass. And it's so interesting now seeing their story on stage after meeting them in person. It makes you want to be a better person and it makes you want to be kinder. So right now, we have a little kitchen party to go to. So I guess we're going to have a screechin' at the boardroom at Kendall's Brasserie, not Brazier. Oh, that's very embarrassing. I have 10 out of 10 thought that it was Kendall's Brazier since I saw Soft Power. Yikes. You can feel that everyone is friends off stage. That is so appealing to me, the idea that everyone is friends off stage. Didn't you get that vibe? That was great. Yeah. You know what I got really excited about? When they brought out the ugly stick, because now I know what it is. <laughs> on the way over and all of us go what is an ugly stick a lot of people build a lot of shows as laughing and crying at the same time but I think this is kind of the pinnacle of that if you guys don't know the story of come from away a go listen to the soundtrack go see it catch it on tour I'll leave all the ticket info down below but if you don't know anything about it basically when the events on September 11th 2001 happened 38 planes were diverted into this small town of Gander, Newfoundland, where basically their population doubled overnight and all of the citizens rallied together to help all of these displaced passengers kind of get their lives together after 9-11. Unreal, heartwarming, life-affirming, hopeful story. Also, for the record, the name of the restaurant that we're going to is not Kendall's Brazier, it's Kendall's Brazerie. So, you're welcome. Oh my God, Mounties. Yeah, if we had come on the opening, we had an option to either come to Digital Night or Opening Night. There were Mounties at the opening, and I kind of wish I knew that. Let's head into the party.
Okay, so what I just learned is that this is apparently poutine and not just cheese garlic fries. I thought poutine had gravy, but I mean, I guess I'm wrong. I think it's that, um, that thing that, that we put on the cheese. Oh, that that might make it poutine. Okay, so I had cheese fries. You look so much like the real mayor of Gander. I didn't know that until yes. after I got cast. Yes. Because on Broadway, Joel is shorter than I am, he's bald, and he does not look like Claude. Yeah. I'm very happy to have a little more of you know, Absolutely. Also, it's very loud in here, but I'm obsessed with this coat. I feel like I go to Beaubaton, like from Harry Potter, like the French Hogwarts that Fleur Delacour goes to. Look at my parents. Update, the lights are on. We're still hanging out. The Come From Away cast and press has officially shut down the bar. They have turned on the lights, so we're getting kicked out. This has never happened before. We're all just having so much fun hanging out. I'm so in high. You're in the oh. fun now. The official Maxwell on Instagram! Look at that, great too. Thank you so much for Oh God. By the end of the night, the entire cast, crew, and orchestra of Come From Away is now, oh, I guess we're going in this parking lot. I don't know what's happening. I'm just too excited and too happy. What a time. You can just feel the spirit of the show is in these people. I cannot stop gushing about this show. So are you guys gonna come see it with me again? Are you, are you guys down? Absolutely. Yeah. After meeting everybody at the, all the actors. Oh, and everybody, Lourdes is so... the most popular person of the evening. Oh my God. It was so much fun and uh, I'm ready to see it again. Right? Honestly. Oh, yeah. Honestly. I cannot say how much I recommend this show. It's up there with Once and Once on this Island for me. That's the vibe it gave me. I mean, obviously, because there are so many stories to tell, just economically, it makes sense to only cast a few actors and have them all play different people. But because you have everyone playing so many different people, you have that feeling reinforced that everyone is together. We all are one community. And also you saw that in the choreography, which I thought was very interesting. It had that kind of, I wanna say spring awakening vibe because that's when I first noticed it. But it's that choreography where everyone is kind of almost breathing together and moving together. You know what I mean? Thank you Center Theater Group for having us. We had such a good time. Again, go see Come From Away, info down below. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us at this show and at this party. If you guys want more vlogs, give this one a big thumbs up. I hope you guys are having a great night. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.